Hi everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I'm using a color coordinates today and also showing you some offset stamping. I have five ink colors that I've chosen and they are all in a nice pastel range. So I have Dusty Sage, Fog, Apricot, Duckling, and Cloudy Sky. The stamps I'm using for this card is from Neat and Tangled and it's called Calathea and it has really nice solid images and also outline images which are perfect for offset stamping. I'll be stamping all the solid images with my colors and then the outline with the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink. I'm starting off using my Misty and I've inked up my first color with Fog and I'm making sure my paper is all set. Ink that up and now I can press that down right onto the paper. I'm using Nina White cardstock 80 pound. So once I have the first image stamped, I can place my second image right next to it. I've inked that up with Cloudy Sky, and now I'm pressing that down to get a good impression. And now you can see how those are sitting next to each other. In between, I'll be cleaning my stamp with a baby wipe. And this next leaf I'm stamping with a dusty sage. And I'm giving myself a little bit of room in between each of the images so that I can do the offset stamping. This is the apricot and it's a color that I kind of forget about so it's really lovely and I'm glad I've found it once again. Next I'll be placing my last or fifth leaf up at the top and I'm using the duckling for that. So those are the five configurations of the leaves and I'll continue adding more leaves until my panel is completely stamped. Next I am stamping the outer ring of the images. I have offset it off to the right. So this is an outline of the solid image. I'm going to be really careful in placing this. I want to make sure that I have enough white on that outside. It gives me a really nice retro feel once I'm done. So I'll be using my intense black ink. It works really well sitting over the other inks. It doesn't feather out. So just ink that up and press it down and you start to get your offset look. I'm just finishing up my panel and I wanted to show you that all of my offset stamping is off to the right so it has a little bit more of a uniform look. And to finish off my panel I am stamping some of the stems in the center of the leaves. To create my card I have a top folding fog card and I am putting some adhesive on the back of my panel. I also have a piece of foam that I've added to the card so this will sit up just a little bit. So all I need to do is align that and press it down in place. I've stamped a greeting on a strip of fog card stock and it says today I thought I would let you know and I'll be mounting this up onto my card using some foam tape so I have my roll of tape here and I can just cut this to the length that I need. There is an inside message in this stamp set and I thought it's nice to have an outside and inside message and this says how much I appreciate you. And to finish this up, I'm just adding my greeting from the outside just onto that top panel. This combination of Simon Says Stamp ink colors was perfect to give me the retro feel I was looking for and the offset stamping. You don't need to be a perfect stamper, just go with the inks, let them soak into the paper, and then do your black outline once those are dry. This is also really nice to have an inside message that goes with the outside message. So I hope you've enjoyed this color coordinates inspiration and offset stamping. And as always, thanks so much for watching.